questions is ran properly. So that's what we're gonna do. We're talking about it. I'm gonna jump in and then I'm gonna get this poll question here. Here we go. I want you to talk to me. So answer this question. Do I have to make a profit in order to claim my business deductions? Yes, this question is for you. Answer it for me. Come on, understanding. Hey, Comey. Hey, Fatima. Okay, good. People are in the chat. Do I have to um, Do I have to make a profit in order to claim my business deductions? What are your answers? All right. So we got two, two no's so far. Okay, good. Good. Anybody else? Some some people scared, Brian. You know they like no. I'm not going on record. I'm not answering. <laughs> I already filed my tax. He was done. Is done. <laughs> right, right. Well, I will go ahead and answer because I got so much I want to share. The answer is false. Okay, the answer is false. Or no, you don't have to um, actually make a profit in order to claim your tax deductions and this is actually a, a big myth in our industry a huge one and i got some other questions i'll ask you later but what you what you want to know is that a profit just means because this i think this is the gray area here from understanding perspective profit just means that i did not spend more money than i made to run the business so for example you made five thousand dollars in business like income that came in and, but you had to spend $6,000 just to run the business. That means you took a loss in your business of $1,000. You didn't make a profit. You made money and income and revenue, but you didn't make a profit. Profit says, I, I made $5,000, but I spent $4,000 on the business to run it. My profit is $1,000. I hope that makes sense. So no, you don't have to make a profit in order to claim your business deductions. Now, let's talk about what you do have to do in order to, to claim your deductions. There's three things, three qualifications to take your tax deductions or uh, tax write-offs. Is some of the Sometimes we call it tax write-offs. So let's do it. The intent to make a profit, that's the first thing. You have to go out and hand out business cards, talk to people, let people know that you're in business. I mean, these days you're not handing out any cards. So you're actually, uh, what you're doing? Posting on Facebook, posting on your Instagram, <laughs> making sure that people know that you're in business. That's the intent. You're reaching out, sending out email blasts and things like that. So they know that you're in business. That's the intent. You also have to do it three to five hours per week. Three to five hours per week says that you're consistently running your business. So you can't be in business today. Um, well, let's say business this week and then take two weeks off and say, oh yeah, I run my business. No, you want to make sure you're consistently doing it three to five hours per week. That's per the law. Now let's keep going. You also have to keep proper records. Proper record says if you have the expense log the expense use software make sure that you can keep up with things track your mileage make sure you have a software on your phone that allows you to swipe left or right um software that i would recommend would be let's say quickbooks self-employed one of the ones that it's super integrated with other systems or you can use this one i love it's called taxbot t-a-x-b-o-t all of those any of those software i don't care what you use just use something okay <laughs> So recap, to take your qualifications, you have to have the intent to make a profit, run your business consistently, and keep good records, okay? Not just records, but good records. And if you're having a hard time, hire somebody. That's how I look at it. Not hire somebody to run your business. Hire somebody to keep your records, all right? Okay, poll question number